Welcome, 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 darling, to Orchids for Dummies, the People's Channel. In today's video, I want to share with you something that you can use for your Phalaenopsis orchids growing in water culture, but you gotta stay tuned. pals welcome on back this will not be a long video so go ahead and like it okay one two three <laughs> now that you have liked this video i just want to share with you this is activated charcoal this isn't the charcoal that you put on the grill okay and what it does is it removes odors and impurities okay for sparkling clean water now if you are new to my channel then let me let you know that I grow half of my Phalaenopsis orchids in the method of water culture my orchids are in water 24 7 I also use rain water that I collect off of my roof if you can see the bottom of this vase, you can see impurities that we are talking about, especially with spring coming up. There's going to be a lot of pollen inside of the water that you collect off of the roof. So leave in the comment box any tips and tricks that you might have with using rainwater that you collect off of your roof. Now, collecting rainwater off of your roof, some of your Phalaenopsis orchids may actually begin to grow algae on them. And that algae can actually eat away at the roots of your Phalaenopsis orchids. So I am hoping, you see, this is real clean and pure. This is what we want. So as an experiment first, I'm only going to use it on the Phalaenopsis that are the most prone okay to get algae as well as you know i'm fertilizing my orchids in the method of water culture you know some of my, some of us might get white mold and black mold by leaving our orchids in water for so long i typically don't have that problem anymore as i will leave a video link above showing you how i got rid of black mold in my growing conditions okay i sure will do that but in today's video the orchids that are still under a lot of stress and that are you know growing algae i want to be able to use this as well as it would keep down odors okay now when you use this you don't want to mix fertilizer with it because it actually nulls out the fertilizer so that's another reason that i like it once i rinse off my roots with tap water, anything that is left on the roots of the Phalaenopsis orchids that's not adequate, then I want it to be removed as well as it will be able to give my Phalaenopsis orchids a good source of nutrients, okay, as an organic fertilizer. This right here, you see all of the algae, that algae will accumulate on the roots and suffocate it. So leaving my orchids in water, for a week. I normally do my water changes weekly, but I have been able to leave them in here for two weeks at a time and they be okay. After two weeks is when everything starts to go downhill. So by using this activated charcoal, I'm hoping that that will eliminate that for me. So this baby right here, that is prone to get algae on the roots, okay? What I am going to do, you see the bottom is pr pretty clean. I will keep you guys updated, new root development. So this is the best time to use it. I'm gonna use a very minute amount because um, this can also kill your orchids if you use too much of it. So I'm only gonna put a pinch of it into the water. And you got to Make sure that you subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified when I post a video letting you know when I give you an update. You see it? It's cleaning it out. It's cleaning it out, mama. It's cleaning it right on out. Yes, God. That's what you want. 
Well, Fab Pills, like I said, this would not be a long video. If you got any questions or concerns, leave it in the comment box below. If you have done this before to your orchids, please let me know. I got this nice trick and tip from a Fab Pal called Mansell. So, Fab Pal Mansell, thank you so much for all of the information that you provide me. Each one, teach one. Well, I hope that you have a happy growing. Until